Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Goody, and I'm a consultant at Fertility Plus. So today I'm going to talk to you about um, COVID vaccination and its impact on the menstrual cycle. And if you have a look at the overall reports that are coming in, I think almost a huge number of reports claim, or, and which are very much anecdotal, as we say, um, on whether COVID vaccination does cause menstrual problems. So let's have a look at the evidence that is now available in knowing what happens to the menstrual cycle after COVID vaccination. So the BMJ came up with a very good article and what it said is that more than 36,000 reports of menstrual changes or unexpected vaginal bleeding following COVID-19 vaccination were put on a yellow card. Now, cycles vary naturally, and the MRHA does not collect comparison data from unvaccinated people. So, in fact, we don't have uh, a comparative way of looking at this. So, the National Institutes of Health allo allocated $1.67 million to research at this possible connection. The first of these studies have now reported, and the existing data set from menstrual cycle tracking apps Almost 4,000 Americans logged into it at least for six consecutive cycles. 2,400 of them were vaccinated and a remainder acted as a control group. Now, in adjusted models, the first dose did not seem to have any effect on the timing of the subsequent period, while the second dose was associated with a delay of 0.45 days. So that's not a huge number. So let's look at the other studies coming up. And now in that study, the most affected were 358 individuals who reviewed, received both doses of the vaccine in the same cycle. And they experienced a 2.32 day delay to their next period. Again, not a huge. But in that group, 10.6% experienced a change in cycle length of more than eight days which is considered to be significant compared to 4.3% in the vaccinated group. But the reassuring factor was that in all the groups, cycle lengths returned to normal by two cycles after vaccination. The Norwegian Institute of Public Health asked a pre-existing cohort of 5,688 women and a high number of variation in normal cycles is underlined by the finding that almost 38% of participants said that they had at least one change from normal, even in the pre-vaccination group. The study identified heavier periods, uh, normal, and most associated that with the vaccination. Now, if you have a look at the findings which we know at present, and they are that changes to the menstrual cycle do occur after vaccination. They are small compared to natural variation and revert quickly. The USA and Norway have an interval of between two doses is three to four weeks. So both the doses are given almost always during the, uh, the same menstrual period. And that's why you can get a, a, a data. In the UK, it's eight weeks. So the second dose is not within the same menstrual period, and the UK study is still underway. So what are the unanswered questions? And the unanswered questions are that there is already evidence that COVID infection can alter periods. It's important to identify the ex extent and persistence of these changes. The information on infertility is a lot of misinformation and that the pregnancy rates had declined. That's because many of the participants were on contraception. More information on fertility is being made available. And at present, something like the menstrual calendar or the menstrual chart and changes in the menstrual chart are a very low priority with public health and reproductive health. And it's often treated in medical research. And that's why getting this data is more difficult. So, if you have a look at this, you will say, well, the, how important is this is from a research point of view and from a 
reproductive point of view, again, it doesn't take a high level of uh, research input. But the reason why it's important is because it's a commonest complaint that patients come in with. And they're concerned and they're worried. And the question asked is, you know, is it affecting my ovarian reserve in some manner? And the answer is no. It's quite often what we do know is that this is does happen with vaccination and menstrual irregularities do happen with vaccination. And we should reassure patients that in two or three cycles, this reverts back to normal without any impact, which is long term. Thank you very much. And I hope you continue to subscribe and follow this page. Thank you.